This is an example video for factoring a quadratic with a negative leading coefficient. Quadratic expressions are written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. Sometimes we're given problems where the leading coefficient a is negative, like in the following example. Negative 2x squared minus 3x plus 14. When we have a negative a term, we want to start our factorization process by pulling the negative out front. When we do this, we write all of the other terms as having signs opposite as before because it's like if we multiplied negative 1 times 2x squared, negative 1 times 3x, negative 1 times negative 14, and these two expressions are the same. Now we see that we have new a, b, and c terms, so we can identify these by writing them along the side. Next, we need to figure out what factors multiply to a times c and add to our b term. So first we need to figure out what a times c is, and 2 times negative 14 is negative 28. So now we need to figure out what factors multiply to negative 28 and add to 3. So let's start by making a table with pairs of factors of negative 28. These are all numbers that multiply to negative 28, and now we need to figure out which one of these pairs will also add to 3. We can see that from here, negative 4 and 7 will multiply to negative 28, and when you add them, they also add up to 3. So this is the pair of numbers that we want to use for the next step. Using these two numbers, we'll further manipulate our quadratic by expanding it a little bit. We can rewrite 2x squared plus 3x minus 14 as 2x squared minus 4x plus 7x minus 14, getting the negative 4 and the 7 from the negative 4 and 7 we determined over here. This quadratic expression is equivalent to this expression because negative 4x plus 7x is the same as 3x. For our next step, we want to look at these two terms grouped together and these two terms grouped together, and we want to determine their common factors. 2x squared and negative 4x have a common factor of 2x, so we can pull that out, and 7x and negative 14 have a common factor of 7, so we can pull that out. When we do this, we need to make sure that the two quantities in parentheses are the same, so we have x minus 2 in this one and x minus 2 in this one. And we can't forget that we have a negative outside the entire thing. From here, we can determine the final factorization of the original quadratic expression. One of the factors will be the quantity, the x minus 2, because those two are the same. And the other factor will have the two terms that are out front of the quantities, so the 2x and the 7. And once again, we can't forget our negative out in front. To make sure this factorization is correct, we can multiply out the two factors to see if we get the original quadratic expression we were given at the beginning. We can use the FOIL method, so we'll multiply x times 2x to get 2x squared. Then we'll multiply x times 7 to get 7x. Next we'll multiply negative 2 times 2x to get negative 4x. And then we'll multiply negative 2 times 7 to get negative 14. We still have this negative out front, so we need to keep that there. From there, we can add the 7x and the negative 4x because they're like terms. So we get 2x squared plus 3x minus 14 with a negative out front. And then we need to distribute the negative sign to each term. So we get negative 2x squared minus 3x plus 14, which we can see this is the same as our original expression. So we know that these factors are right. Sometimes we'll be given a quadratic expression where we can take out more than just a negative 1 at the beginning of the problem. Let's take a look at an example like that. Negative 4x squared plus 28x minus 48. Since this quadratic has a negative leading coefficient, we'll need to take the negative out. But each term can also be divided by 4. So in this case, it's the best to take a negative 4 out of every term. Now we have negative 4 times the quantity x squared minus 7x plus 12. We can see that in the parentheses, we have a quadratic with a leading coefficient of 1, so we can factor it how we would factor other quadratics with leading coefficients of 1. To do this, we need to find what numbers multiply to our c term, which is 12, 
and what numbers add to our b term, which is negative 7. Let's start by making a list of pairs of factors that will multiply to 12. Next, we want to see which of these pairs of numbers will add to negative 7. We see that negative 3 and negative 4 multiply to 12, and they also add to negative 7, so these are the numbers we'll use for the next part. Because this expression has a leading coefficient of 1, we can continue the factorization process by putting these numbers as our numbers in the factors. So we have x minus 3 and x minus 4 using the numbers we determined over here. Also, we have a negative 4 out front of the quantity, so we need to make sure that that stays out front. This is our final factorization. But let's multiply everything out just to make sure that our answer is correct. We can begin by foiling the two quantities. So let's start with multiplying x times x, which is x squared, and then x times negative 4, which is negative 4x, negative 3 times x, which is negative 3x, and then negative 3 times negative 4, which is positive 12. And we still need to keep our negative 4 out in the front. In the inside of these parentheses, we can combine the like terms, negative 4x minus 3x, so we get x squared minus 7x plus 12, with the negative 4 still in the front. And now we need to distribute the negative 4 to each term. So we get negative 4x squared plus 28x minus 48. And this quadratic expression is the same as our original quadratic expression, so we know that our factorization was correct.